Hey YouTube and happy Wednesday. Tonight I have another Casio graphing calculator video for you as I got a Casio FX7400G Plus to go along with my FX9860G2 for just 10 bucks with shipping on eBay. For $10 not only do you get a nice cover with some foot pads you also get a serial port here nicely covered up with a bit of rubber. I'll just pull that up there and you can see there's a three pin TTL serial port. I plan to make a USB TTL serial adapter as I think the connection's quite simple. I'll look on eBay for a three pin USB TTL serial adapter where I can just solder solder the leads to a 3-pin 2.5 millimeter audio plug, not a jack, a plug. And in addition to that, unlike the 9860G2, this runs on just two AAA batteries. And it has, you know, a really nice version of Casio Basic that I'll show you in a second, but it doesn't have flash memory and you don't get the possibility of of adding your own machine code as you would on the 9860G2 with C.Basic. I might check in a second just to see what processor this is. Look on my cell phone over here. Yeah, FX7400 G processor. Anyway, so uh, let's just take a look at the back really quick, see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, it's sort of hard to read that, but I guess it just tells you that it runs on two AAA batteries and a cat, and it also has room for a backup battery that is a CR2032. I have stocked up on tons of those since all my bike lights run on CR2032s. One thing I'll mention is I was hoping to do a Casio EA100 video tonight, but I tried putting four of the AA batteries that I have in the EA100 and the LCD screen just had a few segments that were, were I can't say lighting up, a few segments that were showing up and many others that weren't. When I checked the voltage on those, on those AA batteries, I saw 5.2... 5.1 or 5.2 volts for four cells, which for alkaline cells, especially on a device with that much power use, isn't all that great. What that means is I'll have to buy a set of batteries and then test that out and do another video for you here in a few days. That's super exciting. I've uh, brought over my photo resistor humidity sensor and temperature sensor from my uh, TICBL to test with it as well as the other probes in box. But anyway, with that said, getting back to the FX4800 uh, G+, Plus, I'm not sure I, I, if this was a... Um, S, I think this predated SH3 processors. It's odd that what, it's hard for me to... Uh, figure out. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it was RISC or, or, or something beforehand. I know the Algebra FX calculators used the 8186 or some 8086 compatible. But anyway, so when I turn this on and go in the menu here, you can see it has a smaller display. It has 32K of RAM, really 20, uh, really 20 kilobytes for programming. It's a simplified version of the 9850G and is an entry level calculator, but still, even though it's an entry level calculator, you get quite a lot built in. You see there's nine different functions run for just doing mathematical operations, a statistics function. Let me scroll through these with this D-pad kind of thing. Run, statistics, lists, programs in Casio Basic, table, graph, link. I hope I can use that with P7 and Xfer 9860. Contrast and memory. Let's take a look at memory. Look at memory usage. 
That's interesting. So I have one program in there. Oh, oh, this is that's that's where the RAM was coming from. Yeah, I had seen that there where it was 20 kilobytes free. Now there's 18.8 kilobytes free because I drew a graph in there that I'll show you in a little bit. Again, it's pretty small display. What is this? Let's see. Memory usage that's six plus five plus two, I guess 13 characters by 13 characters. Oh geez, I'll have to add this up. Um, yeah, 13 characters by six rows. So pretty small display, but it's nice, you know, what all, all you get in there. I'll go ahead and exit this, quit, quit. Um, I'll go to menu again. I adjusted the contrast, you know, you can make it darker or lighter. I think that's probably easiest to see at that angle for both me looking outside the camera and you viewers on YouTube. I'll go back to menu here. There's the link, app, the communication application. It would be very, very exciting if I could get screen capture even with this. That would be quite unusual. Yeah, this is an entry-level calculator, but you get a decent number of uh, programming commands. I'll see image set. Um, sorry, uh, I'll, I'll go back to menu and then programming. I eventually going to run end queens benchmark here. Execute, edit, or new. Let's go to edit. You get uh, different... Let's see, um, a certain set of functions here, calculations, and let's see. So yeah, so there are different different uh, buttons you can press within the menu, and these aren't all the options. You can press this um, forward key over here and um, get other functions there. Let's see what other ones, calculations, statistics, I think I see X hat and Y hat there. Probability, random number, that's kind of fun. You can make some very simple games with this, I imagine. Different uh, variables, factorial there. And if I do shift uh, program, there are control structures, if then, else, if end. For next, do while, and do do while, loop while, and so on. If I go back to program again, for control, there's program, return, break, stop. That's it there. Jumps, label, and, and uh, go to, as well as ISE and DSE. You know, really nice compatibility with the older style programmable calculators. Let's see if there's anything else I want to show you there. Display, uh, let's see here. I think that's sort of a terminate and show output command. Input output, that's interesting. I think you could build a Arduino interface or really, you know, just have this communicate with with a computer within programs, which is very, very cool. I hope, you know, I'd be able to transfer data from the main memory with P7 and X4 9860. That would be very, very cool. Okay, so I'll go ahead back to menu. Table, I guess. Um, oh, that's strange. Menu. So table and graph are sort of uh, similar here. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so they are so similar input, but this is just going through different x. What would you call it? Independent variable and dependent variable, and yes, four squared is sixteen, five twenty-five, and so on. We'll go ahead and quit there. Go to menu and then show you graph, and that's what took up so much RAM. Just a parabola y equals x squared drawn there. I'll go ahead and quit and go to the menu again. 
Let's look at list. I guess you can create a different uh, a number of different lists here and then go through in a program and take those inputs and, and do different run different functions and operations on those. You know, it looks like you can sort ascending and descending. Nice little application there. Statistics. Again, that um, has a list input. I manually enter. And then run, it just you can do your regular scientific calculations. Just use this like a non-programmable calculator. Yeah, the zero key to, is a little bit sticky, so I might have to use some contact clean or something there. It uses radians. If I do shift and then pi, I can count that should be zero. And then if I do sine of pi divided by two, that should also be, um, oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, it should have been one. Sine of good old Casio. This should be different. Yes, so that's interesting. Uh, about how the order of operations is done there. Yes, sine of 90 degrees is 1. And then if I do sine parentheses shift pi over 4, we should get points, uh, 0 0.707 square root of 2 divided by 2. Anyway, so that's just a quick preview of this FX7400 G+. I'm going to check really quick for what uh, processor it has. I, I think the screen is something like 128 by 64 pixel or even s smaller than that. I'll, I'll just check in Victor Toff's page, RS key. And with that, I wrap up my review of the FX7400 G+. Calculator, it has a really small display, but it's super, super easy to use. I think its battery life is something like 200 or 300 hours from a pair of AAAs. You can do graphing with this. You can do basic programming that's backwards compatible with a lot of Casio keystroke programmable calculators. It will be great to implement end queens on this, mastermind, maybe, you know, a, a battleship type game. Just since, as I've talked about in past videos, even from a few years back, I really like keystroke programmable calculators and, you know, this Casio Basic that's a few layers on top of that for demonstrating computer science, programming, math, and statistics concepts, but especially basic computer science. You know, you now have a Turing-compatible computer that fits in your pocket. In the future, I'm planning to do reviews of my HP 15C and TI-66, which are really small Turing-complete, Turing did I say Turing-compatible, uh, Turing-complete uh, computers that fit in your pocket with batteries that will last years. I, I'm serious. My TI-66 has some button cells I put in a few years back, and it still is turning on and retaining memory. So I'll cover those in future videos. I have uh, some exciting videos on the Digiroll 2U coming up, hopefully a Casio EA100 video and not too long. I mean, I was looking at the data logger again and it doesn't look like there's corrosion on the battery terminal, so that should work out well. More biking videos and uh, one that I'm hoping to do regarding biking is just showing how you can patch a tube using a typical patch kit because I found that to be intimidating at first, but there are a few tips and tricks that I have just to make sure you can reuse tubes and, you know, save seven bucks, bucks a tube in, in, instead of having to buy a new one. Anyway, with that, I appreciate your attention. I'm just going to check really quick here for anything on the uh, processor, if I can find an RS key. And uh, please like and subscribe as always. And uh, please like and uh, subscribe as as always and if you've used calculators like the 7400 uh, G plus leave them in the comments down below I just confirmed that indeed the 7400 G plus has a 80 by 48 display 
and as far as the processor, I that's interesting. I, I thought it would have been simpler for me to find out what it was, but if I get any more details, I'll leave them in the description. Thanks again for watching, and have a good one.